Yeah, I mean, it was a great win. I mean, obviously, we didn't play well enough in the first half, especially defensively, gave us some big plays. But, um, you know, you got to bring a, ro a warrior and light mentality on the road. We was able to run the ball. And I think the defense, we played pretty well, you know, pretty much majority of the game, a couple big plays. But other than that, uh, just a great win. You know, we talk about finding out what type of team we were going to be when facing adversity, being down, I think it was, what, 24 to 9 or something like that. And it was able to come back and battle back and not really panic on the sideline. Everybody stuck together as a family. And, uh, and that's what you want to see, like you said, against a tough team like Seattle on the road. I just think it's the way we're built. I think it's just the guys we have in the locker room, the leadership that we have is that, you know, when stuff aren't, isn't always going well, because we understand that, you know, things aren't always going to go well in, in, a, in an NFL game. It's just how it goes. And we got to stick together and just keep battling, keep battling and fighting until the last, uh, to the last whistle, until the, uh, you know, all the time is out on the clock. So, uh, like I said, just proud of all the guys who was able to kind of come together and uh, get this W. It was a big win for us. Yeah, I mean, I mean, obviously on the big plays, man, you know, that same communication deal kind of reared his head. Uh, you know, maybe one player here not on the same page. Uh, but we'll get that stuff fixed. But I think the majority, you know, as far as the entire defense, the mood of the defense, the simple fact is that we communicated well pretty much majority of the game. Guys fought their butts off. Uh, it's just a great group of guys to go out there and battle with. And I'm just so proud to be, you know, a captain of this team because, um, you know, we could have easily tucked it in uh, being down at halftime. But, you know, we talked about it at halftime, coming out there uh, with a warrior-like mentality and going out there playing physical, and I think we did in the second half. What do you think about it? What do you guys play in front of that fan who's standing there right behind you who said it's past them tonight? What was the, what was the atmosphere like and, and kind of cool to be kind of a, a heavier team in front of the fans? Yeah, it might have been the loudest state I've ever played in. Um, you know, I've been in Kansas City, AFC Championship games. Those games were pretty loud, but that was definitely a playoff-like atmosphere. And I think it was a good test for us as a team to be able to go through something like that and actually come out on top and win uh, against a tough team facing adversity because that's how it's going to be every single week. You know, we have a tough schedule. And so every single game, we have to understand that games are going to be tough. I was talking to some of the young guys on the sideline like, this isn't college anymore. You know, you're not just going to blow people out. You're going to be down in some games. Games are going to be close. And we have to continue to communicate and make sure that we're good. And uh, like you said, facing adversity, that's we find out what kind of team we are. Kevin, you talked about the mentality. What was going in the locker room at halftime? Was it an animated locker room? Was it a quiet locker room? What, what was the feeling in the team? No, it was pretty animated. It was pretty, uh, <laughs> it was pretty, I think, yeah, I couldn't even get the word out. But, uh. Now, guys were turned up. Uh, I just think it was simple fact is we were just really wasn't proud of how we played in that first half. I mean, obviously, we feel like we played pretty good. I mean, just a little, but those big plays, you know, we gave up three plays. If you, if you look at those three plays that we don't give up, um, it's a totally different ball game. So uh, that's the type of thing. Like, we was obviously animated, but at the same time, it was like, okay, let's just calm down. Let's go out here and play football, play the football the way we know how to play it. And I think we was able to calm down, kind of settle down, and, uh, you know, allow the game to come to us. Right. I mean, I was frustrated we gave up the big plays because, like I said, I felt like we played well throughout the entire game. I mean, they really couldn't run the ball. And uh, other than the three big plays that we gave up, you know, I felt like we was, a, you know, we had to make us to be in a dominant defense, but we had to do it play in and play out, making sure that, you know, it could be one guy not on the same page, especially being in a loud stadium like we were in today, just communication, making sure we're all being on the same page. And uh, at the end of the day, like you said, man, winning the ball game, you're pretty happy to get that stuff corrected, and I'm confident that we will. But uh, still, we show some good stuff as a defense, and that's, stuff, that's some stuff to be proud about. I mean, I usually always pick tails. Uh, it's funny because the referee was trying to ask me, hey, you going you to pick tails again? You going to pick heads? I was like, stop messing with my head. Uh, but I knew I was going to call tails and they ended up working out for us. But regardless if it was heads, tails, or whatever, you know, we was going to go out there and try to battle our butts off to get the ball back for the offense. And uh, we had to go out there in overtime. We went and made it, got a three and out. Uh, so like I said, pretty proud of the way the defense fought today. Yeah, I told him. I was like, stop messing with my head. I was a little joke, but you know, the refs was cool. But uh, like I said, man, just, Happy to get a dub on the road against a great team.